In this video, we're going to be talking about how to create a test or quiz within Schoology. So if you're in the course that you would like to create your test or quiz, you're going to click on the Add Materials button, and that's going to drop down your options, and you're going to click on Add Test and Quiz. So once this new screen appears, you'll notice that some of the um, different categories have an asterisk next to it. Those are required fields and you do have to fill them out. If they don't, you can leave them blank. So I'm going to create a name and we're going to call this um, reading survey. Um, and then if I wanted to click a due date, I could. Um, you have to pick a category in which it will be graded under, or you can select for it to be ungraded, which I'm going to do for this one. Uh, if you have periods, um, different you know, semesters, trimesters, stuff like that, you can decide from there. Um, the factor you need to fill out, so how, um, how much each question is going to be worth. And then the scale, either numeric or alphabetic. I'm going to click on numeric and then you do have some other options down here which are very similar to some of the other um, materials that we've created before so once you have that done you're going to click create and that is going to bring you to this new screen so once you're here you can add different questions there's lots of question options so true and false multiple choice all the way down to um, questions maybe from a bank that you've already created within Schoology. Um, you can create a page break uh, to separate different sections of the test or quiz um, and stuff like that. Now you do also have some settings that you can play around with. Uh, so if you have some instructions that you want at the top of your test or quiz, you can do that. Um, and then there's other options down here, like you can allow multiple attempts. You can allow up to 20 different times um, I would suggest only maybe picking um, a lower number than that, but it's up to you. Um, you can decide on randomizing the order so that, you know, if students are sitting next to each other while taking this quest or t test or quiz, uh, they won't see the same ones in the same order and stuff like that. Um, and then once you have those different things, so maybe if I clicked, you know, I want to allow them two times and then I wanted it graded, we'll say um, the last score that they got, then I'm going to click save changes down here and that's going to save it all to my test and quiz. Now I do have a preview option. Once I put different um, questions in, I'll be able to see a preview there um, and even start a new attempt. And then results, um, I can't click on really right now. It'll take me back to questions because I haven't filled any questions in. But once students start taking the test or quiz, you can see results right here. And you can also make um, comments as well. Now up here in the top right hand corner, you'll also notice um, that there are um, there's a category where you can view stats based on how um, your students are doing on the test or quiz. And then you can also view some of the grading info. And then there is um, some setting options too. So you can go through those. I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial on how to create a test or quiz within Schoology.